Hello everyone, my name is Icarus Gomu and welcome back to No Man's Sky. Whew, this is right after the last session, so I hope everything went okay with the footage. If not, I'm gonna be a very sad person. Anyways, so we're not really ready to get off the planet yet, as I kind of instated before. I kind of want to get a bit more fuel before we leave because, well, that's a necessity to go off and do such a thing. And I also figured out I'm an idiot. Plutonium is for the lifters, and thomium is for my actual fuel. Huh. Multi to attack. Reload acceleration stigma. Sigma. Bolt casting ammunition reload times are decreased. Okay, well, I don't use a bolt caster or whatever. But that's nice. See, it's such it's nice to see such things like randomly encountered in all of this. And you know, I don't actually know what Thaumium looks like, so that's a thing. What what's this? That's an isotope. That's iron. That's also iron. I don't know what thomium looks like, so that's an issue. Hmm. I do not know how the hell we're gonna find any kind of that's also iron. God dang it. I really I really don't. I don't get it. And also, weren't we supposed to be able to trade? I thought that was like a thing that I could do with aliens. So why is it that that other alien, the one we just met last time, why couldn't I... Oh yeah, this is zinc. I forgot zinc came from a plant, not a freaking, like, destroyable resource. But I don't understand why I wasn't able to trade with that alien if... If that's such a big thing, like... Huh. Give me your resources. I really don't get it. I don't know what thomium looks like, man. But maybe we'll discover it together. Maybe, maybe that'll be a thing that we can do. Is there anything I haven't discovered in here? Nope. A subit site. I've discovered that. Uh, I've discovered that. Uh, yep, I've pretty much discovered everything on this planet. Well, okay, maybe not everything, but you know, whatever. Technicalities, I guess. You know what? This planet's nice and all. And I really would like to go off and find more thomium before doing it. But sometimes... Sometimes you just gotta go balls to the walls. You know, do you only have one life in this? Or when you die, do you go to your last save point? Probably the last save point. I'm an idiot. I always answer my own questions. So what's the point? Okay. Okay, fly starship into space, hold right trigger to accelerate, fly up to use... Yeah, I know that. Okay, can I see my fuel on here? Or do I actually have to, like, look in my inventory to figure out that we're about... Engage boost. I have boosters? Together to engage pulse jump. I left the planet. We are not in the planet anymore. We are now outside the planet. Sure would love to see if I have enough fuel. Uh, I mean, I guess we didn't use, we didn't even use any of it to get off the planet. I was like trying to be over prepared. Okay, so I can, this is very hard to control. Can I mine these like for resources? Or activate hyperdrive, open galactic map in space by pressing. Oh, I'm not ready for that. And why do I have a hyperdrive already? Thaumium! <laughs> There's thaumium in the ro asteroids! Great! Here I was, worried that I was gonna just like completely and utterly mess things up by flying out into space. But space gave me exactly what I needed! But that does does that mean that I'm gonna literally just abandon go uh, the planet Icarus? 
Like, I'm not even gonna come back to learn, like, the language or anything. Let's see it from above. What does it look like? Wow. Got, like, a uh, very nasty kind of aura around it. But, you know, whatever. Boom, baby! Why would I need to open a hyperdrive when I don't even know where anything is? You know, it's very strange being in space because there's no real perception of up, down, left, or right. It's just forward. Moon of Menkiba Shuan. Okay. Engaging bolts drive! Woo! So this would actually take a lot longer if I didn't have this. And that's another cool thing about this simulation is that it's simulating what we would have in years to come, but it's like in the game now. And like this isn't even going light speed, like this is just, this is pulse. Do I know how to disengage it though? That's the question. I'm asking myself as, you know, stars fly past me and asteroids as well, which is very disconcerting. How am I not hitting any of these? Very weird. Uh, I better figure it out quick! Oh. Okay. It just stops. Cool. So this is the entrance to I'm, what I'm guessing is an alien base of some sort? I go, whoa, 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 whoa. See, that's what's weird about it is coming from, like, the space that we were in to here, I thought we were right side up, but really, we were upside down in comparison to the landing platform. That's just the strangest feeling. So now, I guess... We're on an alien ship. You know, that begs the question. Are we human? I didn't pay enough attention to really realize or ask that. Are we human? Or are we an alien? Oh, that's locked. Is the other door unlocked? Because if not, where the hell am I supposed to go? Back out the way I came? If that's the case, why is this guy landing? Huh? Why is he allowed to come in and I'm not? Am I actually going to be able to see them come out of their ships? Can I interact with them while they're in the ships? Ow! I forgot that was still a thing. Hello? Interact. I can! Oh! Hey, it's one of these guys! Assistant Emplamaja. The pilot clicks its beak to indicate that it's opening open to trading. It might also be open to discuss the sales of its starship. Uh, I'm okay for right now with starships, okay? I'm pretty sure you're gonna have like, it's gonna cost a lot. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'll sell items since I have that one particular item that we got last time that sells for a shit ton. Literally 13.8 thousand or 13.8k of whatever that euro or whatever it is. I, I don't know. It's pretty amazing that I can still trade and stuff, even though I don't know, like, the language. Pretty sure I said this and expressed it before, but that's just outstanding. And this, whew, that is some money right there. Damn. I got that while I was, like, in the first recording where it didn't work. Like, it just, every, the footage was, like, unusable. So, uh, yeah. You're welcome. Anyways. So he wants chrysonite as well, but I don't have much of it. Where's this buy and sell? Or... Okay. So I can sell 100 units of chrysonite for 8,277 units. I don't see why not. I don't know what it's used for. So that could be a bad idea, that could be a good idea. Who knows? Somebody out there that's probably already played like millions of hours on this 
probably would know. Carbon is definitely not for sale. That's mine. I don't know. Let's see what you got, what you're offering. Holy shit! I knew it! I knew it! Look at that price! Look at that price tag! You're crazy! You're crazy, man. You're crazy. And, oh, the other ship actually left because that was real time. Yeah. So can I actually, I didn't actually try to get in the base. Is this it? Is this all this is to it? Is just trading with ships? If so, that's kind of a lot more lackluster than I would expected it to be. I really wanted to get in the base. Aha! We can get in the base. Let's check this place out. It's operated by different kind of species. Still beaked though. Director Soph Show. All right, what you got to say to me, boy? How's it going? I don't know what you're saying still. Okay, I have not learned even one little bit of alien language, which still begs to differ. Am I an alien or am I human? Even if I am alien, what kind of alien am I? So that way I don't have to differentiate the fact of being alien and human. I can actually call myself what I am. Whatever. Okay. The air around the beaked life form smells foul. It seeps into my exosuit and makes me gag. Noticing my expression, the traitor pecks at an element it carries. It breaks the unknown substance into pieces, then swallows each whole. There is a deep gurgle and the traitor emits a gas packet that smells delightful. The creature wipes its empty hands and beams at me with pleasure. How... How does it know that I was in disgust of its breath? We don't even speak the same language. But there you go. Have some have some of that. The traitor nods a brief thank you. Cool. I got units for that for some reason. I got paid for feeding him. That's cool. Wait a minute. New business earned 50,000. Okay. So I hit two milestones in one session. One thing. Cool. We're hitting milestones all up in here. So I'm just collecting isotopes from his plants. I hope he doesn't mind. Does he have anything for sale on the walls? Wasn't that closed a minute ago? Is this it? I guess if I become friendlier with him, he'll unlock doors for me? Hi again. I don't know what you're saying still. The trader stares into my visor and clicks its beak in, the t in time with my breathing. I can only assume that this is supposed to make me feel welcome. Okay. Shield recharge, please. Yeah. What happens if I do it again? What are you gonna say now? What are you gonna do for me now? Since apparently knowing the language is literally like a, not even needed. The trader's frantic beat clicking seems to indicate that it's open to some stilted conversation and potential miscommunication. Oh, there's definitely gonna be some miscommunication, all right. Request new world. Sure, why not? The trader agrees to help. You have learned the geck word for give. Cool. Well, at least I learned that. Finally, I learned a new language. I'm becoming multicultural up in here. Oh, I need to pay attention to how much I'm spending. I actually have a lot of carbon. Let's do it again. Let's get let's get to know him. Let's get to know him real good. Oh, he didn't use give this time. The trader is clicking its beak and drooling slightly. When the drool is about to hit the hem of its suit, it somehow manages to snort it back through its nasal holes, creating an impressive, if temporary, phlegm loop. That's weird. Phlegm loop. Quest, request shield recharge. Okay, so I just do a shield recharge again. Okay. 
I don't think there's really anything else I could do right now with oh what's this? Interface. Galactic trade terminal. Galactic trade terminal? Galactic trade network. Buy items from the Galactic Trade Network. Whoa! What have I stumbled upon here? This is kind of crazy! A Viking... A Viking Dagger. Yeah, real clever with a the name there. Largely ceremonial weapon. A vital part of Viking traditional culture. Okay, but what are the chances of me coming across a Viking? Like, seriously. No, thank you. So I can sell anything. Nope, I cannot sell anything to this. Or maybe I have to. I, I don't know. You know what? I think we spent more than enough time here. Way more than enough time here. So I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. For a second there, I thought someone hijacked my ship. I was about to be hella pissed. Are you a different person? I mean, I know this. I know that ship. That's the one creature ship. What is this? Oh, it's you again. Okay. Thank you. So the only way I can, and there's probably more of them. Wow, they like lift it off real quick. Let's do the same. Cool. So I can go to Ivguin uh, Jahan and discover that moon. Wait, is there not a moon of my own planet? Like I would like to discover a planet a moon of my own planet first. Where is my own planet? Whoa. Region Gomu. This is really weird. This is like so weird. How do I... Where is Icarus? Where is the planet? How many planets did I pass just getting here? What the hell? There's so many! Don't tell me I lost planet Icarus. Because that's not Planet Icarus. That's that's something else. Were we in gra were we in orbit as we were in that space station? That would be something worth knowing. Is that it? No, that's the moon of that planet. There it is. Okay. What? I wonder if there's a moon over there. You can go try looking for one, why not? I know I already discovered it, but you know what? I'm homeward bound, damn it. So don't judge me. I wanna see if there's a moon that I could discover. It really is a very far way away. don't understand how far away it is until you get super far away. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's just far away. Stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well. Can we slow down please? Gosh. Okay. Hyperdrive is a little bit a little bit wary. Photon cannon, deflector shield. That's the thing that I just messed up. So let's recharge that. Might as well recharge our thrusters. 
Hell, we can charge our boosters too. Why not? We can charge everything. Boom! Look at that asteroid blow up! Render distance isn't very far. Hit it. Hit it. There we go. Look at that sweet, sweet thomium. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. It takes more than two shots. Boom. I'm just getting carried away floating through space. And you know what? While I float through space here, I think it's a good time to end the video. Meanwhile, off camera, I'm going to look for a moon that might be orbiting Icarus. And uh, we'll catch up with you in the next episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you have, don't forget to shoot that like button to keep it awesome. Discovered two species so far. And learned one word. I'm so proud of that one word. Even though it is just give. So, whatever. And, as always, don't forget to stay awesome because you are awesome. And I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao! When you, when your goals are just too big. What are you going to do? 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 I'm going to slap you in a second. That's what I'm going to do. What are you going to do?